Okay, welcome back to Statistics. This is DSRT734 class. In this lecture, we're going to continue with our regression concept. And this time we are going to talk about multiple regression. Now, the difference between multiple regression and simple regression is that in a simple regression, we said the independent variable is only one. So one variable will determine the dependent variable. In multiple regression, we may have more than one variable that will determine the dependent variable y. So for example, we did a previous lectures, we said smoke and lung cancer. So we have only one variable, smoke. There's a relationship between the smoke and lung cancer. Now we can say, okay, smoke with bad diet or smoke with... Uh, uh, any other independent factors like less sleeping or smoking cigarette and coffee drinking coffee can cause lung cancer so now we have at least two and um, so in multiple regression our independent variable can be two or more so in this lectures again we're going to discuss about multiple regression and since multiple regression we have more than one independent variable solving I mean, the problem would take very long. So if I want to find the equation of a multiple regression with three inputs, I mean, it's a long process to do it by hand. We are going to get three inputs, means we have three slopes. Then we may have our intercept. So most of the time with multiple regression, we use technology, uh, such as any uh, software application in a statistics uh, software application such as Excel. Excel is a very good tool. We can use again Excel to find a multiple regression. So here yeah, we're going to use the technology to find multiple regression equation and also the standard error of estimates. The same concept as the simple linear regression. Then we also can find a coefficient of determination. Then we're going to use the multiple regression equation to predict y values. Again, the difference between multiple regression equation and then simple regression equation is multiple regression, we have more than one independent variable. In simple regression equation, we have only one independent variable, which means we have only one slope. If we have four independent variables, we may have four different slopes. So it's very long process to solve multiple regression question by using uh, our hand. And it's better to use the technology and the static software such as Excel, SPSS, or uh, MATLAB, any type of again, software application. So for example, we say a more accurate prediction for the company sales, which we discussed in previous sections might made a, again in previous lectures we said only the advertising expenses predict the company sales we may have some other factors maybe economical factors financial factors location etc supplier of goods too much uh, items is in sell, on sale in the market by other competitors in the industry so that when there may be so many different factors so multiple regression is very good because in this case we can even find the co-founding uh, variable or factors also we use the term the lock-in factors also so for example a more accurate prediction for company sales discussed in the previous session might be made by considering the number of employees or sales staff as well as the advertising expenses. So instead of only using the advertising expenses to predict company sales, maybe the number of employees on sales staffs also can make difference. Uh, the more employees we have, the more effort they are going to put in different market or market segment and to make more sales. So that's what we're going to discuss now multiple regression using more than one independent variable and this is a very good example when we did a simple regression we use the advertising expenses to predict the company sales 
now we can use the advertising expenses and number of employees on the sales staff to predict the company sales. So with multiple regression equation, as we said earlier, every independent variable may have its own slope. So B again is our Y intercept or the parameter intercept. Then we have M1, X1. M1 is the slope for the independent variable S1. We have M2 times S2, which is M2 is the slope for the independent variable S2 plus M3, S3 all the way to mk so k can be any number of independent variable so if i have six independent variables then i may have six slopes this is why it's very difficult to use and to solve the manual to solve this problem manual to take a lot of time so s1 s2 s3 up to sk represent the independent variables and b represent the y intercept and y is the dependent variable. So our y caret is our predicted uh, dependent variable. So because the mathematics associated with this concept is complicated, again, technology is generally used to calculate multiple regression equation. I won't say it's very complicated, but it's a time consuming because here we need to deal with different number of slopes. Uh, here, for example, if we have three inputs, then we're going to have three different slopes. So let's see this example here. They say we should find a multiple regression equation. And the question is, a researcher wants to determine how employee salaries at city company are related to the length of employment, previous experience, and education. So this means we have three independent variables. To predict an employee's salary in a company, we consider the length of employment, how long the employee has worked with the company, and also its previous experience. And the third will be its education level. So if we know these three independent variables, we can predict the employee's salary. So the researcher selects eight employees, so that's our sample eight from the company, and it obtained the data shown in the next slide. Use the mini tab. So here we are going to use the mini tab to find the multiple regression equation. We can also use the Excel or SPSS is another nice tool. So here we saw the data set employees, eight employees, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. This is their salary. So that will be the uh, independent, dependent variable dependent not uh, y we want to again predict the salary based on three independent variables that's the employment how long the person has been working the employee has been working with the company the previous experience he have in the field before he joined the company and also its education level so this means s1 s2 s3 will predict y the salary so using mini tab, we are again here we find the multiple regression equation. So this multiple regression equation means we are going to have three slope for S1, S2, S3. Then we need the y intercept or the y parameter, and that will give us the equation. So we're going to enter the y values in C1 and then S1, S2, S3 values in C2, C3, C4, respectively. And also we select, this is using the mini tab. So Excel use different techniques, SPSS, but the whole concept is the same. So with mini tab, we have the column C1, C2, C3, C4. We always enter the dependent variable first, then the independent variable will be C2, C3, C4. After we finish, we click on the regression menu. Then we click regression from the start menu. So we again from the start menu we click on regression then we use the salary as the response so we have to select the salary which is the values in the c1 as the response variable or the dependent variable then the remaining data we use it as the predictors or the independent variable so c1 we select it as the response variable c2 c3 c4 will be our uh, explanatory variable or predictors 
and we click regression on the from the start menu this is using the mini tab so this is the mini tab uh, regression analysis salary y versus s1 s2 s3 that's dedication etc so after we click on the we select our salary as our response variable and the remaining s1 s2 s3 which is the dedication experience and number of years work in the company. Those are the three dependent variables. We select them, we click on the regression from the start menu, and we should generate our output. So when we generate our output here, the computer generates the output, it tells us that the regression equation is y equal to the y intercept is 49764 plus 364 for the first S1. Uh, independent variable then 228 slow for the S2, 267 slow for the S3. So we have the S1, S2, S3. We generate the coefficient. Then we have again, these are the slopes B1, so M1, M2, M3. Then the predicted constant is again, this will be our y intercept. Then we have the standard error coefficient, the T value, the P value. But our main goal again is to generate our regression equation here. So this will be the regression equation. We need S1, S2, S3. As our independent, then we can have our predicted value Y. So after finding the equation of the multiple regression line, we can use the equation to predict Y value over the range of the data. So to predict y value, we need to substitute the value for each independent variable. We have to have S1, S2, S3. That is the experience, years of experience, years working the company education level. We always have to put in these three values and then we calculate and the value. So use the regression equation. Now we want to predict an employee's salary. If you have 12 years of current employment, and five years of experience and 16 years of education. So we plug in the value 16, 5, 12. And this means his salary will be 59,544. So this will be the conclusion for our multiple regression. We didn't do much theory here because the concept of regression is the same theory for simple and multiple. The difference between the two, as we said earlier, Simple regression have only one independent variable that will predict the Y. Multiple regression, we have more at least two or more independent variables that will predict the Y dependent variable. And we have a very good example in these lectures whereby we have we are predicting the salary of an employee. The independent variable are what? The number of years the employee work in the company the number of years experience he have in the field before he joined the company, and also the, his level of education. So when we have these three values, let's say 12 years for experience, 10 years for number of years he work, 16 years of education level, which is somewhere around bachelor degree or master's, then we can predict the salary. So again, this is the conclusion of multiple regression, and thank you for your time.